All right, guys, Easy Amateur Radio here. Today, I have something I've been super excited about. This is the Baofeng UV 5R Mini. This is a new radio that they, they have released. I've been seeing a bunch of reviews about it. This is just gonna be another review. There's not gonna be anything special that sets this radio and this review apart other than I'm just super excited about this radio. Here's its predecessor, the Baofeng UV 3R. You can see this radio is much slimmer and much smaller, but it is nowhere near as feature packed as the new Baofeng UV 5R Mini. Now, if you've been following my pocket, is it is it pocket sized pocket sized amateur radio series, you'll see that this is just as tall. It is almost not pocket sized because the restrictions on that is it has to be just as tall or smaller as a Baofeng UV5R, the universal measurement standard in amateur radio. But uh, you can see it's just as thick, maybe a little bit thicker. But boy, does it is it just smaller and feel smaller in the hand and look smaller in the hand, maybe because it's a little bit skinnier than the regular Baofeng. But it really doesn't boast a whole lot of difference. Maybe I wouldn't even, maybe a quarter of an inch uh, shorter, but that's about it. But let's go ahead and power this thing on and see what we're looking at with the Baofeng UV 5R Mini. So I've already programmed this. I programmed this with Chirp and uh, Chirp Next is actually what I use. They already have a software for the Baofeng UV 5R Mini. And uh, so you can see I already have it programmed with uh, my, local, my local stuff uh, that I use here on the farm. And then I have uh, two meter calling frequency. Now this does display two channels. However, it is not dual watch so we'll go ahead and key this radio up back here on the bottom on the b band and you don't see it but if we go ahead and swap over to the b band you can see how it highlights it you can see and hear the tone apologies for that squeal so that's what we're looking at the speaker is inside this radio which i find really interesting but it is very loud. No complaints about the speaker. We have an A and a B PTT button. Some people like this, some people don't. See, if I'm on the B channel and I hit the A PTT, I can, I can key up on two meters, but when I let go, it'll drop me back down to this bottom frequency. Now, uh, I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest with you, because if it's not dual watch or dual receive, when you can't, you can't hear anything else on that. So there are a few uses I can think of, but not many on that. So we'll go ahead up to the top, the A band, you hit the A PTT button, the B PTT for the B. And this is a programmable button that you can set. Mine is set to FM radio. Uh, so you can change that to whatever you want, but that's what mine is. This big button right here is my favorite button. Uh, on the radio because it is a flashlight there you go with some SOS uh, I don't know why this main button right here is a flashlight button I guess it's just easy to get to but that's such a Chinese radio thing to do now we'll flip to the back we have a nice belt clip that is clipped onto the battery so if we turn this over and open it the clip comes off so if you want to slim carry this without the clip and you have a spare battery, you can slide that spare battery in, Bob's your uncle. USB-C with an indicator. It does come with a USB-C charger. I was uh, really pumped about that, that it came with its own charger and not programmable via USB-C that I'm aware of, just power. And here's your programming and microphone interface right there standard Baofeng k connector so uh pretty neat pretty neat just a small radio love it love the build of it love the color scheme they got going on and i actually love the menu system in this radio you can see it you can use it you can set it it's so easy to use it's not like a normal radio power on image picture voltage let's turn it to voltage I want to see what that does. Dual watch. We can turn that off or on. We'll go ahead and turn that on and see what it does. Now, 
we will key up on the bottom frequency on the other radio and it fires it up so i take back what i said earlier it is dual watch if you turn it on pretty impressive i really like that so back to the menu that was the radio set this is how you go through and program your channels set your channels if you want to do it manually a wireless computer programming software not really sure if that is the bs ht or ht app just yet if you can use that but that would be pretty neat if you can if you know that if you can use that or not drop a comment in the comment section and then radio info there you go firmware hardware whatever so pretty impressed with this radio let's check out the power so i have this other radio set up on the meter this did come in a a two pack i don't know how good this rubber duck antenna is i can't imagine that it's actually any good but if it is, that's great. Uh, I usually leave the rubber ducks on there unless I have a specific purpose to swap it out. If it's an emergency, long range, stuff like that. So we will go ahead and turn this radio off. And we'll start on two meters. And we're on this bottom white scale, the 15 watt scale, uh, right at five watts. And then we will go up top to the 70 centimeter scale and right at five watts again so this radio does put out a full five watts this is the baofeng uv 5r mini i want to say thank you everybody for watching and 73